Wow, wait, whoa. Oh, 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 I'm gonna start over. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can tell by the title, this video is not clickbait. I actually did spend that much money on Ivy Park stuff. I'm not a crazy fan like that, not at all. I literally just love clothes. I love athleisure in particular, and I love when sports brands collaborate with celebrities and icons and people who, um, you know, basically add value to their brand because I think it's a dope way for them to make more money. Obviously, they're here to get your coin. Um, but what better way to do it than to partner with somebody like Beyonce? And I've always really liked Ivy Park in general. I really liked the first launch. The brand itself actually has great quality stuff. Um, the, the styles are cute. They're different. They're unique. It's not like other, it's not like regular leggings and t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like she came out with some pretty cool designs and I really really enjoyed the first launch when it came out in around 2016 2017 so I had a lot of Ivy Park stuff from that launch and so when the Adidas stuff was gonna come out I was like bet I'm all over it because I love athleisure and I love collabs it's usually very different and unique and it's one of the kind kind of the stuff um, so I was all over this launch when I saw all the celebrities getting the boxes the orange boxes in the mail I was like, number one, how do I get one of those? Number two, I was like, this is definitely going to be a huge launch. I am in the influencing advertising space, so I understand how this works. You don't need billboards, you don't need commercials, you don't need magazine spreads. All you need is a couple people with 100,000 followers to try on your stuff and say it's cute, and it's sold out in five minutes. And that is exactly what happened. I wasn't gonna go to the store and wait in line because I really wasn't, it was snowing outside and I really wasn't trying to do all that. I wasn't trying to fight nobody. So I made two purchases. I made a huge purchase at ASOS, as you can see. This is package number one. It's very, very heavy because there's a lot of stuff in there. I made a purchase from Nordstrom. I bought it in two segments. I was just waiting for drops. ASOS dropped first at 9.05. And so I was like literally throwing everything in my cart spent too much money. My total came out to, I believe, 700 and something dollars. And I know you guys are probably thinking she's crazy. I did it for the gram and I did it for YouTube, all right? This is for y'all. Cause I know y'all wanna see how this stuff fits. If it was worth the money, you know, if you actually missed out or if you can pass. So, and hope that it fits. If it doesn't fit, it will be going on sale. So you guys will get the opportunity, if you are my size, you will get the opportunity to purchase um, the items that I can't fit. Uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> Hopefully a lot of it I can keep because I am actually excited. Um, some of the stores had everything and then some stores did not. Okay, Nordstrom did not have much at all when I was online at Nordstrom. So I'm glad that I got my stuff on ASOS because ASOS ha seemed to have the most stuff in stock. And what I love about ASOS is once you put it in your cart, it's on hold for you. So nobody can take what's in your cart. This is the sports bra. Um, sports bra, this is what it looks like. It's got mesh, it's got a wide band, it's double banded. Um, so for those of you with the uh, luxurious tatas, it seems to be able to hold a lot of titty. It's got extra padding in there so you don't get the gumdrops and the back is crisscross applesauce. So I got an extra small, obviously, because I don't have a lot of boob. Um, when Beyonce was trying this stuff on on the website, she got a lot going on nowadays, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I was very impressed. This is the shorts, and they come with the double band as well. Two different colors, obviously. They did not have the orange shorts available on ASOS, but I think this is cute. I like the contrast of colors. Um, I like the tights, I like the bra. This is a lot of support. I feel like if you have a lot of boob, you are sucked in, okay? Um, there's like two levels of support here. And then the crisscross in the back obviously adds cute design. I also really love these shorts because I like the design in the back. It makes you look like you got a booty, even if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Um, supports the gains. You do have some see-through mesh on the side here. You want to wear something that comes up pretty high. 
you definitely would be able to see your underwear. You can actually see a little bit of mine. I don't really have high hips, so my underwear tends to slide right here and you would be able to see it, so make sure you got the right underwear on. I like this. I love the double band. I feel like it whittles your waist, makes you look snatched. I also, I got the uh, sneakers, and this is the Night Jogger. All right, it's just a plain white box, nothing too snazzy, nothing special. It does have Adidas on the side and Ivy Park on this side, embossed, so you can't really see it. That's the shoe. Ooh! Ooh, I hope this is the right size. They come in men's sizing and not women's. So I got a seven and a half, which is my men's shoe size. And it looks like that's the right size. Look at this. Wow, wait, whoa. I really love sneakers. So a good sneaker makes my day. I actually have another pair of night joggers. They're like just plain white and blue. So I thought that this would be a really cute pop of color. I don't really have a lot of orange shoes. I love that it comes with this tag in the back i don't think i would actually wear it out of the house like this because i don't want this to get dirty um but this is really really cute this would be cute to put on a bag or something i'll probably just put it on my jacket and what i really love about the sneaker is the two-tone design obviously because it goes with the set that i have on but um it's got ivy park adidas on the inside sole um these sneakers are actually really comfortable like i said i have another pair of the night jogger and they're very comfortable to me so they come with this toggle where you can obviously tighten them if you need to but i love leaving my shoes untied so for me this is perfect because i like to just slide in and out of my sneakers and the shoe is like a mesh upper breathable lightweight all right so this is the sneaker i love these i love the sneakers okay keeping those <laughs> So this is the jumpsuit, it snaps, I like that, because I hate buttons. I have long nails, so I don't have time to be sitting trying to button stuff, but everything I got is in an extra small, by the way. Usually Ivy Park stuff runs really big. I already love this jumpsuit! It is a little big. Obviously I would not just wear it like this. You can adjust the arms. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. I love that this has zippers on the sides, on either side. You can put stuff in there. This has the little draw cord toggles as well, so you can draw it in. Oh wait, it's getting cuter. Oh. You've got pockets on the sides here. On the back, you've got a little flap. It's a fake pocket, but that's okay because you got plenty of stuff going on in front, so you really don't need that much extra. I actually wouldn't wear this with these sneakers. That's too matchy-matchy, and I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not that kind of girl. I would probably do this with some heels because it's, it's cute like that. It's cute. So there's a belt, which reminds me a lot of the off-white belts. Mm, this is not plastic. These feel like heavy this is what it looks like and the thing i like about accessories like this i can always pair this with other items like with other clothes i also got this skirt um the skirt is cute i don't know if i would actually wear this i feel like somebody with hips it would probably look a lot cuter on you and maybe with another outfit i don't know probably won't be keeping the skirt it looked it cute on Beyonce. I don't really have a whole lot of body, so. But this bodysuit though, this bodysuit is extra cute. Like, I love that it says Ivy Park on the sides. Uh, obviously I can't show you what it looks like without the skirt on because my whole booty is out. I like the way it looks zipped all the way up. But yeah, I don't know about the skirt. The skirt is cute. It's got the little stripes down the side. I will give it another go with another outfit and see how I feel. Um, but the skirt really doesn't do much for my body type. Nonetheless, the skirt is cute. Ooh, these pants is a little too tight. Oh man, okay, so they don't really fit the way that I would have hoped. I think I needed a small. I'm in between the small and the extra small these days. I'm usually like an extra small, but lately I've been more so leaning towards the smalls. It's like too tight in the thighs. <laughs> And if I sit down, then, oh yeah. In the leg area, they're a little too tight on me. Oh, I'm sad. I wanted these pants. I think they're still cute. 
I like the pants, but I don't at the same time. Like, there's like a lot of space right here, but then like the legs are really tight. I just, I don't know. It's a lot of space right here, you know, like I, like I got something to put in there and I don't. But I like, I like how they look with the bodysuit and everything. I don't know, what do you guys think? Are they cute? Should I keep them? They don't really fit exquisitely. All right, so here's the dress. Was not expecting this dress to fit me, but it's cute. Bay wanted to see me in the dress, so here you go, babe. This is for you. I got two jackets. I got the coat. I got the um, customizable jacket. There's so many different things you can do with this jacket. Oh, you got your ID stuff already? ASOS, boo. Today Yee. shipping. First of all, it's just like regular, right? Here it is, regular. Sleeves are a little long, but I love my jackets to be too big because I like to put my hands in my sleeves when it's cold outside and stuff. But the cool thing that you can do with this jacket is, give me a sec. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Oh, oh that's so cool. I mean, I mean, how many of your jackets can do this? None, zero. I think it has to go all the way to one side. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. How you do this? Beyonce, I need a tutorial. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is, okay. Now it's a crop. Oh. The jacket is the best part of the whole line. Turn around, easy. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll probably get a lot of wear out of this. I'm not even a burgundy fan like that, but it goes really cute with my hair color. So, I mean, hey, it was meant to be. It looks like you can unbutton this on the sides so you can show off your shoulders. That's cute too. Oh, 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 oh. This is like when you get a new iPhone and you gotta figure out all the little things you can do with it. For somebody who loves fashion, this is it. This is everything. Fire keeping, for sure. Last thing I got, and we're done. I got way too much stuff, but I didn't even get everything. I didn't get a sock, I didn't get no harness bags, no fanny packs, no beanies. All of that was gone. Um, this is the most expensive thing that I got out of the collection. This is a coat. You definitely need to be warm until April. I've got a couple more months of winter, so I've been looking for a coat that has these straps in it. So I feel like it was worth getting um, just just for this. Like this is this is what I've been needing in my life. You know what I'm saying? You could just wear the straps like this, and then you know wear it off the shoulder. You can always you know wear one shoulder. It is asymmetrical, so um, one side is longer than the other. And oh, this coat is cute. Oh, this coat is cute. Ooh. This is what it looks like zipped up. Super, super cute. To get the full effect, you can bring this all the way up. And this is really warm. Like, I'm already warm. You can always, you know, do this little number. Give it some shape, give it some edge. Overall, do I like this stuff? Heck yes, I do. The quality of this stuff is very nice. I feel like the materials are all really thick and like quality fabrics. You can tell that a lot of thought was put into each design of each item. It's, I feel like everything was priced pretty nicely. Like, I mean, the only thing that's like super, super expensive was this jacket, which was 250. But I mean, if you buy a, a Nike coat, it would have been the same price. So I feel like it's just competitive pricing. Was it worth all the money that I spent? Probably not. Um, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I probably would not wear a lot of this stuff more than one or two times. Like I know I would wear that jacket a lot because it's very versatile. I can mix it up. The workout stuff I will wear more than once, so that was definitely worth it. The jumpsuit I'm probably gonna wear once. The bodysuit probably wear once or twice. The only thing that I was disappointed with was the pants because they don't fit the way I want them to, um, and I'm kind of sad because I really did want the pants. I'll try them on again and see, but I probably won't be able to wear those pants because they just don't fit the way I want them to. I will probably end up selling a couple items um, from this bunch after I wear them once. So um, be saying to it because I may be selling this stuff on Poshmark. That's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more try on hauls and stuff, let me know because I am trying to do more of them. And that's it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye guys.